performing arts, fine music and great food. Welcome to Colours of India. We are back as usual with a weekly lowdown on all things happening in the cultural world and our top three picks this week include an Odyssey Ballet Fusion followed by some fun stuff for the kids and then there is the healthy way to beat the heat. Music can go beyond its melodic form and has for ages acted as a stress buster. So here once again we look at music as a health option. Sanskrit is the oldest surviving language from the Indo-Aryan times which also has been the primary language of Hinduism, Buddhism and Jainism known as Mantra Bhasha or the language of mantras. Sanskrit is a creative force where each syllable booms with a healing frequency. Highlighting the beneficial aspects of sound, Rila Hotha organized the International Ancient Arts Festival where she presented a fusion of Odyssey and ballet focusing on the theoretic qualities of language, especially Sanskrit. Otherwise, we didn't have a problem. We didn't have an issue at all. Especially the fusion elements, we didn't have a problem because um, uh, we had composed the music with keeping that uh, that thing in mind. And when, in fact, when Bogdan came to India, we barely had two days to put one item together. I did my Odyssey steps. He just watched and he composed his uh, uh, movements to it. And it wasn't difficult at all. They have the same balancing poses. They have the same hand movements, and they are used to very complicated rhythms. That was most important. A folk artist cannot understand a classical rhythm because of the variations that and complications we have. They don't have the percussion instruments that we do, but it's a hidden rhythm that they have. Rila Hota, along with the Romanian ballet performers from the Bucharest National Opera House, opened her act with Mangala Charana, an invocation to the ancient sounds of shlokas. This was followed by Birth, a pure dance piece depicting how the positive and negative forces clashed and created 50 different vibrations, thus responsible for the formation of the universe. Here they focused on the 50 Sanskrit syllables that originated from these sounds. The stage brought together two very different genres of dance. Ballet originating from the Italian Renaissance courts in 15th century and Odyssey remarked as the oldest dance form of India from the 1st century BC. Her Abhinaya portrayed the smooth moves of ballet and Tribhangi Mudra of Odyssey, illustrating the use of common Sanskrit words stimulating the energy centers of our body called the chakras. The unique thing about this was the music. The music, the coordination like switching, off, switching to Odyssey then switching to the ballet music and all, you know the the switch over and all. It was so well done that you can't uh, make it that after Odyssey we are seeing a ballet performance. It, the merge of the music is so well done. It, it was a different experience performing with them, and they are so good. They are so good. It was really we also got the energy from them. Om is the primordial sound, a universal chant powerful enough to heal. Thus, they concluded with moksha, depicting the evolution of humans by using mantras. Spiritual journey and self-realization were the concepts that ringed through the music and dance in this repertoire.
music as an agent of frequencies that help resolve the inner turmoil. That is what this repertoire was all about. And as far as our ecosystem goes, there are also similar agents rooting for this cause. Swetcha, for instance, is one such group. Swetcha the young organization took their idea of saving the planet and preserving its natural goodness a step forward by creating a workplace using waste from all around Delhi. Their self-made green space gave a new twist to art. With the sunny yellow walls, the room is filled with innovations like shelves made of baskets, cycle tires used as dividers, lamps made of tin cans and the exotic coke can chandelier. And how can we forget the lamp made of a car silencer, a perfect example on World Environment Day. This is just a, just a statement for everyone, for people who build offices, for people, normal citizens, also for the government, that Delhi churns out more than 8,000 metric tons of garbage every day. Uh, the landfills are overflowing, and what are we actually doing about that waste? So this office is about you know, sustainability, it's about design, it's about a, one of the biggest, gravest issues that Delhi faces. And uh, we need to all stand up and do something about it. <laughs> As music is the best way one can celebrate and spread a word of cause, Swecha's new office roof was a thriving joint. Celebrating the occasion with dance, they made their young followers shake a leg. Jack in the Box, a new band in town, opened the show with their smooth tunes, trying to impart the message to save our world. Not just today, it's a reminder, which it's a call to arms. It is about, you know, we forget in our daily grind what we need to do, what we could do, what we ought to do. It's a kind of World Environment Day stands for renewing that pledge in doing your little bit in whichever way you can. And we are just little simple people trying to do smart little things. Shrutha, a Bengali singer, sang a song dedicated to Nizamuddin Aulia, remembering the great sage and his times, which are long gone and forgotten. Her scintillating voice tranquilly echoed in the surrounding, making everyone stop and think for a while. My music uh, especially is very organic. If I can save the environment, if I can save water, if I can sing songs and tell everyone that, you know, stop uh, polluting and these kind of things. And if my voice and my music reaches out and touches you, then I hope there will be a change. And that's the same principle of Swecha. They are actually implementing things using recycled products. And I think that's a, that's a great initiative. And that's what my music is all about. <laughs> Swecha is a young organization which focuses on environmental, social and developmental issues with their new innovative and inspiring motives to change the world. They do set a new trend and of course a new way to use waste. Upcycled office spaces are not just thoughtful but also chic. While you think of ways of updating your space, I will take a quick break here and see you on the other side. Coming up, summer fun for children, soothing music for the soul. Welcome back. When it comes to Indian craft, Dastakar brings craftspeople from across the country under a same canopy. But this time around, they allow children to explore the many possibilities of our tradition and culture.
When the holidays kick started, Dastakar brought the perfect deal for kids where they could learn and enjoy at the same time. The Kid Stuff Crafts Carnival was a unique blend of youth and heritage where the budding youth got an opportunity to see, learn and experience the regional hand skills that are part of our rich cultural heritage. In a colourful setting of canopies, different workshops and activities awaited the young ones. Children in India have very little exposure to India's cultural heritage and if they are exposed to it, it's always in a very dry history book sort of way and so as a result they don't realize how much fun crafts are, how colorful it is, how participatory it is to work with different materials, whether it's clay or paper or folk painting. What we're trying to do by exposing children to working here with these materials is, as I said, not to turn them into craftspeople overnight, but to make them a little more sensitive. Women have always had deft hands at embroidery and crochet. Young hands took to the task with great passion, making small flowers and rows of crochet. As some hands weaved, children were also introduced to the art of storytelling through fad paintings of Rajasthan, Bihar's Madhubani and MP's Gaunt paintings, all made using twigs, nib pens, matchsticks and natural dyes. I think it's crucial to sensitize young minds to art and craft from a very young age. Um, they're very impressionable and this is part of our culture. This is totally India in its totality. And it's a fun thing, it's a fun day for children. I've learned pottery, how to make pottery, and I have made a puppy. Those tiny hands also got muddy as clay modeling and wheel pottery were the most visited workshops. Here the children tried to make small replicas of Lord Ganesha, a tiger and even a cow. Mud was moulded with the hands or placed on a revolving dial and sculpted to produce tiny pots. Terracotta wheel pottery taught the children about stability and precision of hands. It is critical that we build connect uh, at a very young age for children with these kind of things because that's when, when they grow up, they will be in touch with the culture. My favourite if you ask me. The thing I've learned new crochet. Like crochet the best. Beadwork was another exciting workshop where one could learn to make earrings, bookmarks, and other small utility products using millions of colorful beads. सबके यहां जा रहे हैं सबको सीखने की कोशिश है तो जब ये सीखेंगे तभी तो इनके दिमाग में डेवलप होगा ना आगे जाकर के कि हमें क्या करना है आज तो ये सीख के जा रहे हैं थोड़े बड़े होंगे तो और कुछ करना चाहेंगे और बड़े होंगे तो और कुछ तो उनका रुझान भी बनता है ना क्राफ्ट से बच्चों का रुझान भी बनता है ना तो वो बहुत जरूरी है कि ऐसे ऐसे उस माहौल में बच्चों को सीखें और बच्चों को बहुत अच्छा लगता है Apart from the workshops, the carnival was laced with temporary shahs of Kachi Ghodi performance from the Shekhawati region of Rajasthan. In its vibrant and lively setting, Dastakar's Kids Carnival also became a good history teacher. For the survival of our crafts, it is important to spread awareness and therefore it is better to catch them young. Now the classical music plan considers a duet a competition of rhythms with each racing and imitating the other to prove the best. Up next. Our classical fraternity has given the world some famous jugal bandis like between Pandit Ravi Shankar and Ustad Allah Rakha. Shiv Kumar Sharma and Hari Prasad Chaurasia, Ali Akbar Khan and Nikhil Banerjee, Zakir Hussain and Sultan Khan and the likes. 
in a festival of Indian classical music and dance, Classic Kolkata presented a scintillating jugalbandi between Saeed Zafar Khan on the sitar and Kailash Sharma on the flute. आज के जमाने के जुगलबंदी और पहले जमाने के जुगलबंदी में बहुत फर्क है मैं ये मानता हूँ जैसे जुगलबंदी वही लोग कर सकते हैं जिनके दिल आपस में मिले हुए हों जो एक दूसरे को बड़े अच्छी तरह जानते हों जिनसे प्यार मोहब्बत हो मैं कैलाश भाई के साथ इसलिए जुगलबंदी बजा रहा हूँ क्योंकि ये मेरे बचपन के दोस्त हैं और हम लोग तकरीबन तीस पैंतीस साल से बहुत अच्छी हमारी दोस्ती है दिल मिले हुए हैं तो हम लोगों में एक कोऑर्डिनेशन ही एक प्यार मोहब्बत का है तो हम ये सोचेंगे हम ये कोशिश करेंगे कि हमारे गाने बजाने में एक अनोखा खुशबू आए Jugalbandi means entwined twins or in terms of music a performance featuring solos of two different performers where each plays the lead thus competing against each other can even be between a vocalist and instrumentalists it is said that the first ever jugalbandi was presented in the courts of alauddin khilji by amir khusro and gopal nayak dolatabad an epic challenge between hindustani and carnatic music bansuri ke bare mein main kehna chahunga ye directly hamare sharir se juda hua hai बाकी साज जो हैं वो प्लेक्ट्रम से बसता है या नेल से बसता है या लेकिन ये हमारा सांस से बसता है बांसुरी तो ये बहुत ही एक इस तरह का माध्यम है एक्सप्रेस करने का कि एक डायरेक्ट हमारा मतलब वोकल मतलब संगीत से हमारा एक ये बॉडी का पार्ट बन जाता है दूसरी बात ये कहना चाहता हूँ कि साज बजाते वक्त ख़ास तौर से बाँसुरी इसमें मेडिटेशन भी है और योगा भी है क्योंकि ये ब्लोइंग का इंस्ट्रूमेंट है तो इसमें योगा का भी बहुत बड़ा हमारा एक एक्सरसाइज हो जाती है क्योंकि इनहेल एक्सहेल करते हैं हम इसमें मासूम द सतार अ स्ट्रिंग इंस्ट्रूमेंट एंड फ्लूट अ वुड विंड इंस्ट्रूमेंट आर टू कॉम्प्लीमेंटिंग टूल्स बट एट द सेम टाइम ड्यू टू वेरिएशन इन देयर साउंड लेवल्स इट मेक्स इट हार्डर फॉर द परफॉर्मर टू कंटिन्यूसली कीप द रिदम पैरल Said Zafar Khan and Kailash Sharma performed on Rag Bhageshri a popular late night Hindustani raga which traces the emotion of a woman waiting to be united with her beloved The vibrations of the sitar strings and the rhythm of the breathing while playing a flute takes these instruments beyond the realm of music and into the magic of medication. The emotions involved in this raga were beautifully projected through the intervening notes of the sitar and the flute. And after those gorgeous tunes it is now time for us to go on a short break here but I'll see you on the other side. On the other side is a healthy non-fat treat. Welcome back on Food Trail this week. I'm going to experience the healthy. In fact, there will be no oily or greasy treats. Instead, I'm concentrating on fresh fruits and 100% natural dishes at the Red Mango. The frozen yogurt and smoothie brand Red Mango originated in South Korea and later took America by storm. In its Indian avatar, with the all-natural, gluten-free, low-fat range of yogurts, the Red Mango is attracting the health-conscious urban populace. Uh, see, uh, the concept behind getting in India is uh, because people are very health conscious now. Ice creams got ice creams are very high in calories. If you have uh, these desserts, they are very low in calories. Okay, and uh, the second thing is a hundred percent natural. When you eat the ice cream, so there is a lot of air in it, but in these desserts, there is no air. So it's you'll get value for money. Yeah. 
yogurt, the fermented dairy product has literally shaped the Eastern food identity for centuries. When the Indian texts described it as one of the five elements of the Panchamrita, the food of the gods, the Persians credited it with Abraham's longevity. The Turks named it, but it was the Americans who created the yogurt revolution in the first half of the 20th century by promoting it as a health food. The yogurt is no longer plain white, it is flavoured with fresh fruits and topped with your imagination. Always been really fond of yogurts as compared because they're much more tastier, firstly, and lighter as well. So I, I always always go for uh, yogurts, definitely. Yes, I had uh, blueberry. The flavor was blueberry with uh, fruits. I don't prefer chocolate and all, so I generally have it with fruits. I like yogurts and everything, and the dressings they had. I was just looking at that menu and the dressings that they had, the varieties. It was really nice, like kiwi, so like mangoes to the chocolate. Sprinkles and everything. Red Mango allows you to create your own treats. Choose from a variety of toppings, weigh your indulgence, and pay only for what delights you. At 1.1 rupee per gram, it is a small price to pay for good health because. Apart from being a source of protein, calcium and vitamins, yogurt contains life cultures that do wonders to your digestive system. The weather couldn't have been more perfect for a yogurt evening. It is warm and sultry outside and this really cold light is something I crave for. But when I'm having something as healthy as yogurt mixed with fresh mangoes, I am allowed to indulge a little, to cheat a little. That's how I've got these sprinklers here. And the intense flavor of the strawberry along with the fresh fruit flavor of the mango and the crunch of the sprinklers. Now that is a complete delight. Mm. But if you are ravenous and would like to munch on something, then you can choose from a selection of sandwiches, muffins and cakes. Now each sandwich is prepared keeping the calories in mind, so they use multigrain bread and oil-free meat. If you're really hungry and a portion of yogurt will not do, then they do have a selection of sandwiches, all of them healthy treats. And you could try this one that I have here, multigrain bread with an Italian dressing uh, and chicken. So that is a very good option if you want to give that a try. Their speciality also includes fresh made-to-order waffles topped with cream, chocolate sauce and almond crunchies. Personally, I just love their parfait and you would too if I told you why. It has fresh fruits like mangoes, pineapples and bananas along with organic flaxseed granola and all-natural non-fat yogurt. They also have the parfait concept which is about rethinking lunch so this tall glass of goodness is what you will get and this is a perfect way of treating yourself well. Now let me get back to this, I will see you next week on the same show. You can write to us through our Facebook page. So until later, goodbye, take good care and happy eating.